Hello and welcome to today's video. This is my April wrap up video. We are now officially in May, uh, which means yet again I've got another month to wrap up. These are a lot of the books that I read during April, but I actually read quite a lot of ebooks this month as well, like compared to normal. Uh, for ebooks, obviously, I can't hold a book up, so I'll just put an image somewhere on the screen. But yeah, do I have statistics for this month? Honestly, yes, but I've not got loaded up. Okay, so I've read 13 books in total this month, which was 3,924 pages, which is actually pretty good to be honest. It's the same amount of books that I read last month, but it's like slightly more pages, I think about an extra 150 pages. So yeah, pretty good, pretty decent. I would like to try and keep over 4,000 pages a month but like that's just like a silly little goal like really not important really not a big deal to keep still very happy with the number but so close yet so far so in terms of ratings I've given out one one star two three stars two 3.5 stars five four stars two 4.5 stars and one five star so pretty even pretty spread out but the majority of which are between like 4, 4.5 or 5 stars. So that's really good because that's where I want to keep my reading. I really am trying to learn my reading style. What I enjoy, what I don't enjoy. Because if I'm not going to enjoy a book, why am I picking it up? So yeah, um, I think I'm just going to get into the books now. I don't know what I'm going to say. I haven't prepared this at all. But I have vlogged most of the books that I've read this month in various videos throughout the month. So I've done like a reading vlog for every week and then I also did like a weekend reading vlog at one point where me and my boyfriend swap books. And yeah, so anything that I've vlogged, anything that is included in anything, I will try my best to link a card up above and also leave a link in the description. So yeah, I will do that as well. So first up, right at the start of the month, I first of all read Bike Club. This is book 10 of the Morganville Vampire series and I gave it four stars. It was great. This series is still great. It's such like a feel good read. You love all the characters, you know all the characters, you know the world, you know what's happening. Great. Uh, book one we meet Claire Danvers who's our main character. She has recently moved to Morganville, Texas to start university not long into university she has to move into glass house which is a house with three roommates eve shane and michael and she very quickly discovers vampires are real and they run the town i don't know like it's honestly great like it's ya so it's not very in depth but it's a load of fun it's just a great time i love it um i did give this only four stars it wasn't quite as good as some of the others in the series but still really enjoyed it enjoyed the progression and like every time you finish a book you just want to pick up the next one and yeah it's really great then next up this month i read needle this was an e-arc that i'd got through netgalley and i had a good time reading this i gave it four stars because I think it was a very important book and it definitely spoke about a lot of real world things, how things like really genuinely happen and yeah it was interesting so it is classed as YA but I would say it's definitely on the younger end of YA. It really you know there was nothing except for the age and like potentially the topics that we're talking about there wasn't really much of a difference between middle grade and this but having said that it was a really great book so we basically follow our main character who is in the foster care system and is in a home where you know she's being fostered she's hoping to maybe potentially this might be a home where she stays for longer and then she gets angry and accidentally stabs someone in the hand with a knitting needle. Uh, she's a knitter. Yeah, that's why it's called needles. I'm doing a really bad job at explaining this. Um, but yeah, it was a good time. I had fun. And I think it was a very important story. And something that's good for especially younger readers to read and see. 
what life can be like so yeah there were parts that i didn't enjoy at the start the grammar was very off-putting and the way that the story was written it was just not grammatically correct and it was a decision made like it was when this main character was talking and then i'd say the only other thing that i really struggled with is our main character is meant to be 15 and i didn't find that very believable honestly just because of the decisions made and the thoughts for didn't find it too believable but still really enjoyed it still had a good time then next up i read the shadow and bone trilogy which starts with shadow and bone then comes siege and storm and finishes with ruin and rising so i gave the first one four stars second one 3.5 stars and the third one 3.5 stars it was all right uh i read a lot of fantasy i read a lot of YA fantasy it wasn't bad it didn't do anything special the story is not going to stay with me um i have got an entire vlog reading just these books so i will link it um but yeah it just wasn't a great time like i was fine reading it i didn't struggle reading it the story flowed okay yeah it was just a ya fantasy where everything that i didn't want to happen did happen everyone i wanted our main character to like vibe with and like figure out things with were baddies <laughs> better way to put it than that and um the one character that i wasn't really a fan of ended up being a large part of the story and when towards the end of this i felt that maybe this was done for a reason and things were still going to have to come to an end it then basically got uno reverse carded um so yeah it was all right if you enjoy YA fantasy, maybe give it a go. If you don't, it's not one that I'd recommend over others. Then I read Clockwork Prince. This is book two of the Infernal Devices series. Uh, this was good. I gave it 4.5 stars. I really like this story. I think it's a really good time. It's it's obviously part of the Shadowhunter world. And at the same time as reading this, you are reading like the Mortal Instruments alongside it. If you're reading it in publication order, which I am reading my reread in publication order and it's just such a different story it's so good and it's so interesting i like our main characters i like kind of how slow things are going like it doesn't feel slow as you're reading but when you think about how much has happened it's really not a lot um i'm not going to say too much about this because it is book two in a series but it's a good time if you enjoy book one in this series which is clockwork angel there's no reason why you won't enjoy book two it's great and it just carries on and adds to the story even more then i read cinder and i gave this five stars this was a reread for me and it was still just as good the second time around honestly i didn't remember everything so there were still like a couple of things that were kind of surprises like i did end up remembering them before that happened but going into it i didn't remember that that's where the story was going and yeah it was just a lot of fun we follow our main character cinder who is part cyborg maybe cyborg for the it's not really clear um i mean on the back it says is also a cyborg um and this first book book one takes the same theme as cinderella it is a cinderella retelling uh it's set in new beijing and yeah there's just so much fun there's so much going on we have a prince prince kai our main character cinder is a mechanic we have androids we have stepsisters it's just such a quick read as well like there's so much going on you just want to keep flipping the page and it's really really interesting we we, we learn a lot it really sets up the world well this is a big series well not a big series this is a decent sized series i think there's four books maybe five with the novella or maybe it's six with the novella something like that but yeah um and it really is a good time i'm struggling to say a lot about it without giving away spoilers to be honest because we kind of dive straight into finding stuff out figuring stuff out and but after like the 15 percent mark we are just constantly figuring out getting to know this world like discovering new things like how is this going to work how is everything coming together yeah 
it's a great poem. If you haven't read it, read it. <laughs> yeah, read it. Um, obviously, if you enjoy this sort of story and all that. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this. And then after that, me and Jay did a video together where we swapped books for the weekend. And I ended up reading Why We Sleep. I gave this four stars. It is a non-fiction book. So obviously, everything in here is fact. And for that reason, like, I don't feel like you can mark it too low. Um, it was a decent book. I learn some things in this book and I think I'm in the minority where I just say like I feel like this book could have been considerably shorter and given the same way like me and my boyfriend have spoken about this since because he's also read it and he says that that's a really great way and a really great way to get it to stick in your mind and all this and that for me I was just like I don't need four examples to explain one theory uh, I just don't um one example is fine and for that reason maybe not a quarter of the size because I do feel like occasionally stuff was needed but it could be less than half the size of what it was it wasn't bad it was interesting if you are really interested about sleep then it probably is a good starting place I felt like for me the questions in here that I found really interesting weren't explored enough but there was so much content in here the contents page doesn't even like really delve into what you get so like this is one page of content and then we've got all of this as well and these are all different things to do with sleep sleep theory dreams dream theory uh benefits all that sort of stuff and yeah it it was a good time i gave it four stars then next up i read some contemporary books and i started with yoke this is great um i gave it five stars i had such a good time with this it's not a fun book to read it is deep there are a lot of things in here before you read it you probably should check for content warnings and stuff like that to say i don't read contemporary and and i'm not really like an emotional reader i don't really normally care about that this really did like make you feel a lot it made you think a lot it made you see all these different perspectives all these different things and it was really good it's about two sisters jane and june and june gets cancer that, that's not a spoiler it's on the back and we we explore that we see that we see them rekindle their like sisters hood sister friendship um and try and go through this and figure it out together and at the same time as this we are kind of learning that jane might not be fully okay herself she might have some sort of sickness herself and again that's not a spoiler like it does say on the back that jane's discovering she may also not be well but it was just so good it was written so amazingly like i after reading this whenever i see like a mary hk joy i will be picking it up i know that she has got quite a lot of books out and this was my first one that i ever read and it was really good i'm really glad i read it i'm really happy that i read it and i do think i learned a lot from it as well which is what you want out of your books you want to think you want the story to stay with you and this will definitely do that then also contemporary i read normal people i gave it three stars which honestly was kind of like the worst outcome i'm not gonna lie um i expected to either love it or hate it and it was just meh i really don't have a lot to say about this there's so much normal people content out there online one of the reasons why i was so up for reading this is because there's so many people and such a big group of people who talk about it and share it and love it and i was like that would be amazing to feel like that and there's also a group of people who talk about it and hate it and i do understand that the writing style is difficult i did have to read this physically whilst also listening to the audiobook the audiobook that was available on script the narrator would change their tone of voice when people were talking when you are reading this you can't tell when people are talking speech marks are not used you probably already know this but yeah and i did find that difficult i did try and read it just physically to start off with and i was having to reread things and reread passages and really try and figure out myself 
when things were being said and it was just too distracting i don't think i would have got through this just physically reading it because it, it I, I don't care about it enough to figure it all out i don't care about the story enough especially at the start when you just start in you don't you're not invested in anything i don't care enough to go over it and read it like three times to decide when someone's speaking i gave it three stars i don't think i'll pick up any more sally rooney maybe if i see it in a charity shop but if the writing style is like this and this is the type of story it wasn't bad but i'd rather read good books than just okay books and for me this is just okay then i finished an arc called fuck anxiety and i gave it one star i didn't enjoy it it wasn't for me it seemed very basic very repetitive and like it was trying too hard honestly it was trying too hard to be like hip and down with the kids and maybe i'm not the target audience but reading the description for the book i felt like i was so i don't know that's how i'm gonna leave it like i don't want to be negative it was an arc i was reading and you know I, I really do hope that a book like this will help some people and that the right people who need it will see it but that wasn't me and i don't have much fondness for it then i finished a graphic novel called monster mind and this was also about anxiety but it was dealing with anxiety and self-doubt and it was a graphic novel but it was all from the author's own perspective own like real life what was going on and it really just depicted the monsters that like live inside your head and bring you down basically it was really good it was only short it didn't take long to read but it was really good and even though going into it it didn't feel like a very positive book it felt very constricting honestly but by the end of it there was so much like change in that and how it ended just felt so hopeful and so okay and not okay in a way like this is all resolved and everything's great now more of a this happens this is normal this is okay i enjoyed it i don't know if i said this but i gave it four stars so yeah and then i read lunatoids which was the last book that i managed to finish in april and i gave it three stars it wasn't bad like it's a poetry collection and it wasn't bad but it wasn't amazing it wasn't great it didn't blow me away and honestly like i read so much great poetry like, there's been so many poetry arcs that i've read that have just been amazing and this just fell a little bit short for me i very much felt like the way it was structured and the way it was set up didn't really work for it and it kind of felt like how how it was set up how it was differentiated between it was using lunar phases moon phases and like the lunar calendar but there was no difference in the actual poems and writing style like maybe there was maybe there was more of a difference than i recognized but honestly i just didn't vibe with it there were some amazing poems which is why it still got three stars but a lot of it just felt like it was coasting and the structure and why it was structured like that didn't make sense so unfortunately i could only give it three stars i do think there was good poetry in there i do think i will potentially check out the author again but not in this way not in this collection that was all of the books that i read during april i do hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the wrap up let me know down below what you read maybe let me know what your favorite book of the month i really don't know what mine was i'd maybe say yoke which is surprising because it's a contemporary but yeah i think i'd have to go with yoke if i was choosing a favorite this month because it was just so great like i'm still thinking about it and i read it a couple of weeks ago so yeah uh i hope you enjoyed the video do give it a like if you did subscribe down below if you'd like to see more content like this i do upload every monday wednesday and friday hopefully i will see you next time bye